You're saying minimal. Minimal expense. You said that? Yes, ma'am. And it will no way reach 15 million. Tama? Hindi po, ma'am. Hindi. Hindi po. No way. No way. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Chair, gusto ko pong balikan si General Mempin. General Mempin, you are I'm recognized. about to wrap up, Mr. Chair. Yes, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. General, kanina po sabi nyo, <coughs> hindi nyo alam yung confidential fund. Yeah, you that's still correct. confirm that? That's correct, uh, Your Honor, Mr. But Chair. But I hope you understand that the certifications which I confirm from the AFP officers, <coughs> the four of them, pertains to the expenditure of 15 million taken from the confidential fund. And according to them, those certifications were required by you. Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, actually I was uh, asked by the officer of the secretary to ask for certification pr coming from these uh, uh, units. But uh, it is uh, clear uh, to them or even to me that uh, no funds are uh, Involved, meaning no funds uh, released to these uh, units. What uh, the Office of the Secretary is wanted to know is the product or uh, the result of uh, the collaboration of various uh, stakeholders, including the PED, with regards to our uh, youth. So it is clear, ma'am, that uh, the PED has not released any single centavo to the conduct of wireless to the uh, uh, units uh, mentioned, ma'am, Your Honor, and uh, Mr. Chair. If you are saying General Mempin, na walang ni-release na pondo ang DepEd dito po sa Youth Leadership Summits, san po ginastos yung 15 million? Uh, that's, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, that was, uh, I was not uh, aware of it because, uh, my the task given to me is just to coordinate because uh, to be candid about it the commanders of uh, Colonel Boran Singh, uh, Colonel Panopio and uh, Lieutenant Colonel Sangdaan are my former uh, colleagues or classmates in the uh, Philippine Military Academy. Mr. Chair, I wish to ask the COA, Attorney Camora, tama ba ang understanding ko? Sa AOM, may disallowance na 75 million. Out of 75 million, you are asking for supporting documents of the 15 million which were paid as rewards to informers. Attorney Camora, you are recognized. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Uh, and in response to that supporting documents, the DepEd submitted these certifications about the Youth Leadership Summit. Tama ba? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. In other words, these certifications submitted by the AFP officers are being used as justification for the 15 million utilization paid as reward to informers. Tama po ba? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. General Mempin. Your statement is completely contradictory to the stand and position of COA. Uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, as uh, I uh, previously mentioned, the only task given to me is to coordinate to my uh, colleagues in the active service of the uh, Philippine Army to have a uh, report on the conduct of uh, Youth Leadership Summit. But uh, as to the utilization or disbursement of uh, 15 million uh, payment to informers, I was not made aware of it, and uh, I have no knowledge that uh, uh, the, this uh, certification is for the payment of informers. Uh, Your Honor and uh, Mr. Chair. General Mimpin, I understand we also have Major General Bahao. You have a letter here, General Bahao. This is about the nine youth leadership summits. Kanino nyo po ito in address? 
Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, Mr. Chair. May I be recognized? Major General Bahaw, you are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Ma'am, I address the letter to Yusek Nolasco Mempin, updating him of the YLS conducted in my division then. And uh, similar to the questions that were propounded to the three other AFP officers, kapag ho ba nagwa-YLS kayo? Sinong gumagastos? Ma'am, uh, sarisariling agency po na nagpa-participate dito ang gumagastos. Sa amin po, more on facilitation and the security, kami po ang gumagastos sa sarili naming mga tropa. And with respect to the children and the youth who are the participants, do you confirm what they said already? LGU ang gumagastos? Yes, ma'am. At kanina po, sinabi din ni General Memfin, balikan ko si General Memfin, Sabi niyo po, General, wala talagang gastos ang DepEd dito? Uh, to be clear, because uh, as uh, I was asked if uh, the confidential uh, funds issues for the conduct of uh, YLS, so it's clear that uh, no funds is uh, downloaded or given to the Philippine Army for the use of uh, uh, the conduct of uh, wireless, but uh, if uh, uh, confidential fund is uh, given General, to informers that, of That is tantamount to saying na walang gastos ang DepEd sa inyo. When you said that they did not or DepEd did not download any fund to the military, that's, tama? That's correct, uh, So Honor, what you wanted to say, walang ginastos ang DepEd sa taga-military when it comes to the Youth Leadership Summit. Do you confirm that? That's, uh, I confirm, that's correct, uh, Your Honor, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair, I am very much surprised, but let me wrap up and make this manifestation before I yield to the other members of the committee. While, while we believe that these certifications were submitted to justify the 15 million that were allegedly paid to as reward to informers. Now, all the officers from the AFP, that includes General Memfin, the USEC for administration, are stating that the DepEd did not utilize any of its confidential fund in support of the Youth Leadership Summit. These statements, Mr. Chair, are completely contradictory to what DepEd has made the COA believe in the submission of all these certifications. Mr. Chair, to proceed, let us all be reminded, ito pong confidential fund na ito, pera ng taong bayan. We all of us are accountable to the Filipino citizens. Public office is a public trust, we should be accountable to the people at all times. And I do not understand why these people who are supposed to explain the 15 million is totally unaware of the same because they are saying that they never use the DepEd fund and what they use is the fund of the AFP. While we understand, Mr. Chair, that confidential fund by its nature is not encouraged to be scrutinized, there is nothing under the law that prohibits the same as well. There are important observations, Mr. Chair. Number one, among all civilian agencies, DepEd is one of the very few with confidential fund. Two, DepEd had this confidential fund only in 2023 and never in prior time. Three, I hope we can show also that while the DND, which has a mandate to address the national security, has 37 million confidential fund only, the Department of National Defense has 37 million. The DepEd, which mandate does not include national security, has 150 million confidential fund. Mr. Chair, to continue, while the police, the AFP officers already 
denied this YSL, YLS, having been supported by DepEd, 15.54 million po ang amount that the DepEd is trying to justify in making use of the certifications that were submitted by the AFP. Number five, Mr. Chair, prior to 2016, pag ang pinag-usapan po natin ay Youth Leadership Summit, it is the AFP who leads and they just coordinate with DepEd. But on the report that was given by COA, it seems to appear that the one leading the Youth Leadership Summit is the DepEd in coordination with AFP. Paligtad po ito. Number six, Mr. Chair, I do not want to preempt any conclusion. However, Mr. Chair, General Mempin spent 2017 to 2023 of his AFP career in the Vau City and the Vau region. During this time, the former president is the president and our vice president is the mayor. During those times, Mr. Chair, the Vau City, while it is authorized to have and to utilize confidential fund, I believe has one of the highest confidential fund among the LGUs in the entire country. I hope the Secretariat can produce the data. I wish to ask Mr. Chair, ito bang lahat ng ito ay coincidences? Given this observation, let us all be reminded that the leeway that is being given to confidential fund is to be able to address a very important concern, and that is national security of the country. No more, no less. The procurement and the liquidation were made liberal in recognition of the significance of the purpose of the confidential fund. However, Mr. Chair, if there are glaring indications of irregularity already, as those that we have mentioned, plus the admission of the AFP, is it not that COA should address its mandate of making sure that all receipts and all expenditures are duly accounted for the Filipino people? Question number one. Since when has irregularity in confidential fund been happening? Two, what has COA done so far with respect to its accounting rules in order to address the irregularity? And three, will COA simply brush aside these irregularities, especially with the admission of the AFP? that they were the one who spent for the 15 million Youth Leadership Summit and not the Department of Education. Let us remember, regardless of which office in the government we belong, public trust always carries accountability. To tone down the mood of our investigation, at para mas maintindihan po ako ng mga tao, mayroon hong prominent na line sa pelikulang Star Wars. Ang sabi, comes with great power is great responsibility. If you translate this to constitutional language, let us all be reminded, public office is a public trust. The trust that is given to us by the people carries with it due accountability. Thank you, Mr. Chair.